Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today I want to show you how to configure Windows 10 with VPN. Now, Windows 10 has a built in VPN uh, kind of feature. I'm not a big fan, but I'm going to show you guys how to configure it. So, the first thing that you need to do is get inside your notification center, all settings, and within all settings, you want to click on network and internet. And once that loads up, you're going to go inside VPN. And within VPN, by default, you don't have anything. So click on the plus. From here, it's going to ask for a VPN provider. You only have one provider, and that's the built-in feature of Windows, which I'm not a real big fan because it's a hit and miss. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. You provide a connection name. You provide your server name or IP address or where you're connecting. Most likely, your job has a... Uh, and a full address or an IP. The VPN type, most likely your IT admin or your network admin at your job will tell you what type of VPN type. If they don't tell you, you could just go with automatic and then Windows 10 is going to try to figure out what type of connection uh, it's trying to establish to. There's a good chance that your VPN has a username and password, so leave this as the default. Provide your username and password and hit save. Now, I'm not a big fan using Windows 10 built-in VPN connection. Uh, I like to use OpenVPN. From here, my network admin or my system admin gives me a particular file with everything in it, with the certificate, with the credentials and everything to connect to my VPN server at my job. So, so this is my VPN server, which is located at Azure. I created a virtual machine within Azure, and I configured it to uh, you know, do VPN. Uh, I want to show you this is my virtual hub. I'm going to click on manage virtual hub and within here I'm going to go to manage sessions. By default I only have two active connections. One is the local bridge and the other one is secure NAT. So I'm going to go back inside my home lab and we're going to try to establish a VPN connection using Windows 10. Now you could do this with Windows 10 built in VPN but I'm not a big fan because again like I said it's a hit and miss. So from here I already have my OpenVPN client already established with the security certificate. I'm going to double click on my OpenVPN and at the bottom right here my taskbar where my time is at, it's established it. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit connect. It's connecting. I'm going to provide the password so I can get into it. Press OK. Password is entered. It's authenticating. It's establishing the connection. That's great. Once everything is done, this should disappear. Awesome. I have an IP. Awesome. Now if we go back inside my VPN server, we should see another session started. All right, so we're back inside my VPN server. And from here, again, we still see the default too. So I'm going to refresh it. And there goes our third session that we established together. Like I said before, I'm not a big fan using Windows 10 built-in VPN stuff because it's like a hit and miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It's best that you're your office provides you a client and then, a, and then a security file that you establish the connection then enter your username and password and then you're good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.